Hey guys, Lev here from Agilite. Today I got something special for you. I'm gonna show you my light machine gunner setup that I use when I'm in reserve duty using a negative light machine gun. So, as you can see, it's all based off of the K0. Let me just put this down real quick. So, the whole thing is based off of the K0 plate carrier, and this is the same K0 that I use when I'm running an M4. If I'm running a rifle, I don't, it doesn't look like this at all, obviously. I have it rifle based with a rifle placard on it and a low profile cummerbund on the sides usually with like a radio pouch and just some more admin stuff on the sides. The K0 was designed with the ability to go from a low profile, minimalist setup to a heavier duty, larger profile setup. Let me show you the heavy duty setup. First thing I do is I put on a Warfighter cummerbund set. So I have Warfighter here on either side and I set it up with a quick release buckle on the right. Down here at the bottom, I have a six pack. The primary thing the six pack is holding right now is just a tourniquet, but there's also some, some sustainment going on in there. If we open it up, I have some dirty, dusty old melted protein bars. These don't look appealing, but at some point they do start to look appealing and that's when you need to eat them. So that's kind of just a, uh, a way you can sort of measure uh, how much you're being starved in the field. So over here, I got gloves, Ag Agilite Mechanics Collab gloves uh, with the fingers cut off. Gloves are super important when you're working with a light machine gun. This baby gets hot and I have burned through so many pairs of gloves that could have otherwise just been my fingers, and I burned through my fingers, but you know, it's a statistics thing, it's a numbers thing. So the gloves are over here on just a, an HK clip that I put on here. Again, made a little hook for it that goes through the molly. Um, moving upwards, I got some more first aid. I have an Israeli bandage over here, clearly marked with an X, which is the IDF symbol, buddy care symbol for a pressure bandage. So over here, got my multi-tool. Same multi-tool that I said I lost before and then I found. So that would be the Victorinox Swiss tool. I love this little guy. Very smooth, great quality tools. Always feels good when it's opening. And I got that in a black pincer pistol single. Now, I like the black one just because it lets me easily kind of differentiate with the colors and because I just already had it in here anyway. So, got the flap in there. Moving over here. I have a general purpose pouch. So this general purpose pouch, we're coming out with soon, so stay tuned for that. If you're in the TNE program and you gave input that helped to design this, thank you so much. So on the inside, this is just a sneak peek because there's gonna be a video on this later, but it's got some internal organization that's built in. It's got some elastic on the back. It's got some Velcro, great amount of room, and it compresses down on the bottom, and you can put a tourniquet in here. So stay tuned for that. Right now I have safety glasses in here. These are the clear ones because I'm wearing the gaiters over here as my uh, darker glasses. I just have a, a marker and a pen and my headlamp. But sometimes I shove some more stuff in there, stick lights and whatnot. This is all mounted on our new Molly placard. This placard is just a very simple Velcro and Molly placard, height adjustable, comes with both options for buckles, that's Geox and side release buckles. It'll fit on any placard compatible plate carrier. Great little option. This is how I run my administrative stuff on the front when I have my ammo on the sides. If I'm in a rifle setup, I run my ammo in the front, administrative stuff on the side, so I just switched to a different placard. Over here, I got my knife. This is where I like to keep it on all my setups. I just have a little, uh, basically, holster that I made. Hooks right in like that. Super simple kydex. Holds it not too tight. It's right there, accessible to me if I needed to. Um, what I do with it most of the time, obviously, is just like cutting bread and cutting string and cutting tape and cutting boxes and stuff like that but it's cool to have it, so that's why it's important to carry it around. Right over here, I have a Sunto compass that's kind of like an auxiliary compass that I use. I'm not the prime navigator most of the time, and the real navigators have GPSs, so this compass isn't super important for navigating, but I do like it for orienting myself inside a building. It can get very confusing when you're inside a building and there's a lot going on, so it's great to be able to know which wall is the north wall, east wall, west wall, whatever, which alley you're looking down, where the buildings are outside. It's very important for communication. Over here, I just carry this guy around. This is just a 50 cal I found, dehydrated, run out of energy, lying around in the sand, way down range of uh, machine gun range. So I just carry him around for good luck because what are the chances of two 50 cals, you know, meeting each other here on my chest, right? So over here on the sides, I have the negative drum pouches. Now the negative drums are really huge. They're really big and bulky, so a bit awkward but the pouch does a great job holding them and the Warfighter Carbon does a great job supporting them. So you can see they molly on to the Warfighter. Just open them up like this, I can pull them out. Super simple. I can access these when I'm lying down, 
when I'm kneeling, when I'm standing, just by grabbing, ripping open and tearing one out. Um, so each one of these is 150 rounds, plus obviously I keep another one in the negative, and then you just have another one in the backpack, and then just more loose ammo. So I'm already pretty good and pretty set up, and I can give some pretty serious fire. And I have it all attached to the Warfighter Cummerbund. Super nice. What I can do is I, uh, can, I have the plates in the back, and if I want to take out the plates and put them in a rucksack uh, for longer rucks, I can do that. And then I just adjust the Velcro, move it in a little bit, and I'm good to go. Also, because the Warfighter Cummerbund has that built-in stretch, if I get it not perfect, it kind of compensates for it, and it's really fast to adjust that way. So I like keeping it all on one plate carrier. Having one plate carrier that's both for machine gun duty and for rifle duty, I like all the benefits of the K0. So for me, I just love having the ability to have that quick shoulder, the shouldering, the flat shouldering, super comfortable shoulder pads, all the versatile cable management stuff. So I use this with my negative, and the K0 is great for it. Super comfortable all day. And that's about it for me. That's, that's, that's what I want when I'm carrying the negative because this thing is fucking heavy. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're in the Teeny program, we love you. If you're not, someone loves you, I'm sure, but it's not me. Uh, might be in the future. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the battlefield. Probably not. Unless you're Lebanese, maybe. <laughs>